Excitement in the kitchen. Say, let's see the excitement. All right. Just you come along with me and I'll show it to you. Welcome, I am Jonathan, a.k.a. Senor Smoke, here at Curto's in Westchester County. Yes, Curto's, the grease shack, the brick pit, the house of smoke, here high atop Appliance and Grill Mountain in beautiful bucolic Yonkers, New York. And folks, if you are doing anything on the outdoor cooking front, then there is no better place to visit, I may humbly say. Uh, we have it all, no matter what your budget is, we will meet and serve your needs quite well, better than any place in Westchester County, and that I will guarantee you. But why am I here? Because of this uh, grill behind me. Yes, yeah, so we need to talk about this. Um, this grill called, uh, it's by, uh, it's uh, called an artisan, okay? Made by the good people at Alfresco. Um, the reason I'm to talk about it is because this may be the greatest value of any almost premium grill in North America, and I will include my friends up north as well in that. Um, and when I say almost premium, it's a new category that I have created and I will define it soon. But let's just talk about grill categories and we're talking gas grills to begin with. Gas grills, okay? You have that really low end junk that you see at Home Depot where like the doors go like this on the top of the hood. It's about, you know, two, three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, whatever it may be. And then when we, we get into the category of like legitimate grills and you have Weber, you have Napoleon, <clears throat> and price points on those grills would go anywhere from, say, the sixes, off the top of my head, maybe the high fives, and we'll take you north of $2,000. And in Napoleon's case, with the 825, Pro 825, I think we get over, we might go over 3000 I think we do. Yeah, we definitely do um, with that. So, and then from there, you have um, what I call the zoo. And when I mean the zoo, I mean all the grills that are out there that are for some reason named after animals. So we have a lion, we have a coyote, we have a bull. Um, I feel like I'm going through Noah's Ark over here. Um, you have a lynx, but the lynx of course is not in this category. But um, these are mostly Eastern sourced uh, product that, um, you know, they're <clears throat> the quality is whatever on them. Um, you also can put into that category, uh, and again, we're not at the high end yet, because usually the high end, the entry point in the high end was DCS, right? So um, no longer. We have this other category, and, and so again, all these, the animals in the zoo, and then you kind of dovetail into um, the, the blaze, okay? Blaze is, I mean, the blaze is a better build than these other ones that I've mentioned. But in the blaze, you know, the, these grills are going to take you from like $1,500 to, you know, two grand. The blaze pro is going to take you over three grand. And then we, we, te we are now teetering on the high end. And then you have like the Sedona by Lynx. We have the step downs from some of the, um, uh, the high end grill manufacturers. So Fire Magic has AOG, Lynx has Sedona, so on, so on, so on, okay? Um, and then from that point, we jump into the high end and then with the entry price point being DCS. And then it just goes up from there. So the reason why this grill behind me is so intriguing is that it is made by Alfresco, who in my um, somewhat learned but humble opinion is the best of the high end gas grills for many reasons because, that I know of because I've cooked a lot on it. And um, I love it. But this grill behind me here brings a lot to the table. And at the price that it is selling at, um, it's an absolute home run. So it is called an artisan. It is made in the same tent factory that the Alfresco is made in, in uh, Commerce, California. It is a 100% American made product. That's important to know and to understand uh, because many of the other grills that are in its price category are not American born and bred. Um, the thing about it that is incredibly, in the past, like I had known about it, but I really didn't have an interest in it because I found that certain parts of it, I didn't like the fit and finish. I didn't like the cooking grates. I didn't like the cooking system that it used. So I, in past years, I stayed away from it. What Alfresco did was they supercharged it. They upgraded it this, this season, and now it is legitimately, I mean, it's an almost high-end grill for a not high-end grill price. Um, it comes in 32 inches and 36. There is a smaller version that's about 27. I don't really see uh, a m much of a market, at least here, for it, other than uh, maybe replacing 27-inch DCSs 
um, that are out there and have been out there for 10 to 15 years. But um, uh, that's like replacement business. I mean, for people looking for a new grill, they're not really shopping for 27 inch pieces. So this is 32 inches and 36 inches. Here are the pluses, the incredible pluses about this product. It is available as a head only, so it can be built into your outdoor kitchen. Again, 32 inches and 36 inches, nothing larger than that. You want larger than that, you gotta step the alfresco. It also, and this is really key, it comes on the cart, as you see behind me. This is a 32 inch on a cart, 36 inch on a cart as well. The beautiful thing is there is literally no putting together. This thing rolls right out. It doesn't even have that pain in the ass tape that takes like two hours to take off. You literally take off the packaging, you plug it in, attach your gas, you're ready to go. That is huge, that is huge. It's packed so well. And just taking that tape off is worth some money because it is, I mean, and trust me, as a guy who sells Memphis Grills and, un, and, and owns one, taking that tape off is an arduous task. Um, that's a major plus, I love that. I love the on the cart, roll out of the box, you're cooking in a couple of minutes feature. Here's another thing, okay? They are using the same cooking system, almost, that Alfresco is using. So you have very thick gauge grates, stainless steel grates on here, but the ceramic briquette system absolutely mirrors what Alfresco is using. It's the same radiant ceramic briquettes. So what that means is you are going to get even temperature across the whole grilling surface, and because you've completely closed off the burner to the top of the grilling system, you're not gonna get flare-ups. It is literally a flare-up killer, all right? And that, as a guy who's had massive flare-up issues in the past with some of my other grills, it's a major, major selling point for me. Um, also, the burners on it are actually the same U-shaped burners as the Alfresco. Now, they are not, they're, they're shaped the same. They are not the same power, nor are they that incredible 18SR stainless, which the Alfresco is made out of. And of course, that's what separates Alfresco from everybody else, because the 18SR stainless has titanium content in it, and titanium is scale, and it's basically scale resistant. So they're gonna hold up a hell of a lot better than your brass burners or just normal stainless burners. So right away, we have built in the United States, okay? Comes on a cart, right out of the box, ready to cook if you want that. Um, it has the same cooking system pretty much as the Alfresco, same ceramic briquette system, really thick, beautiful stainless grates on it. And um, it now has lights. As you can see, I don't know if you can see here, but you can certainly see the one light on the canopy, which is incredibly bright. But what they also did are these nice, cool, ambient blue lights above the knob, which are very sexy looking. So um, they also changed the control panel. So you have these nice push buttons for both uh, igniting it and as well for the lights as well. So this grill in the past did not have any lights whatsoever. So this was a major upgrade on it. Um, it also, again, in just talking about things that it shares with its big brother, the Alfresco, they also coat the wiring in the, um, in the uh, heat resistant silicone sleeves, which is gonna make the wires and the igniters hold up a hell of a lot longer than normal. And they also use that same air draft system that the Alfresco does. So it actually pulls in air from the bottom. It basically runs across the back of the control panel and up through the top. And what that does is it cools off the control panel, the dashboard, keeps the, uh, the wiring cool, the panels, you know, ambient cool to touch. So um, again, it's just, it's safer and it's gonna make the inner components last longer than other grills who don't pay heed to these things and are instead just focused on turning out the hottest BTUs possible or what color their burners are. We don't care about that. Um, they actually put a temperature gauge on the hood, which I know is useless, but the marketplace calls for it, so it is what it is. Um, and what they also do is they are offering an infrared sear burner. It doesn't come in the grill, you have to buy as an accessory. However, now, and I think this is until the end of the year, I have to check on that, because I'm making this video on August 8th, um, but I believe it's till the end of the year, they're gonna give you a free infrared sear burner with the purchase of a 32 or 36 inch grill. That's huge. Now, this is not the, uh, the sear burner the, uh, that we find in the Alfresco. Um, which we call the uh, uh, Hellfire, uh, almost that's 1600 to 1800 degrees. No, you're not gonna get that type of heat with this, but you will be searing, it is infrared, it's all good. Um, 
And the cool thing about this is that, yeah, it comes in the cart like you see here. Well, you can also put together an outdoor kitchen with their components. You can buy a 32 or a 36 inch head. You have, um, you have access doors. You have, um, you have the infrared burner said You have a side burner. So you definitely can put together a somewhat modest outdoor kitchen without going crazy. I just had a customer in Greenwich. She wanted to do something, but they, I mean, they in Greenwich figured they wanted to be in a budget, but they wanted to be in a budget. So they did a 36, they did a DCS ice maker, um, and then they did all uh, artisan undercounter um, pieces, including the side burner, and are very, very happy with what they bought. And I will tell you that the people who have purchased an artisan this summer um, are raving to us about the cooking performance on it. So, and that's obviously the most important thing is the customer feedback. So, um, so far, people are just, um, they're dancing, they're dancing, and when they dance, I smile. Um, there is one thing about this grill that I am not too fond of, and the way the Senor Smoke, or the appliance dude, when I'm talking about appliances, um, the way I go about business is I tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly, okay? One of my favorite movies of all time. So the thing I don't like about this grill right now is I find that the canopy, the hood, um, is too light. Now, it is a spring assist system, kind of like the Lynx, but it's a bigger, heavier spring than Lynx uses. So it has made this hood way too light for me. Now. I understand they probably looked at Lynx's marketing and saw like yeah, our, da our grills are dad friendly and mom friendly as well because they're easy to use and they're light and this and that. And that's probably the reason why they did it. Um, I don't really believe in going down that road because I find that when the, the, the hood is too light, it may actually appear to people that it is made of an inferior material or quality or it's not the same gauge or, you know, and, and, and that's not the case, but it's just, it's too light for my taste. So I actually did give them my constructive criticism on this. And I said, you know, you may want to, uh, for next year, I, I, I don't know. They, 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 there may be a running change to make it heavier. I don't know. I will tell you that the folks who have purchased it loved the fact that the grill cover canopy hood was light. So I might just, it just might be an isolated thing with Senor Smoke that I just don't like this. And you know what, don't take my opinion. Um, or take it for what it's worth, I guess, on that particular aspect of this grill. I mean, I think if I brought this home, uh, my wife would love it. Cool. Um, just for me, I want something with a little more, uh, a little more heft. That's just my, my opinion. But that's the only thing I can really complain about because everything else about this thing is smoking and that's no pun intended. So pricing, um, you can do this, you can get this on a cart for like, I don't know, $29.99. So we go from like the high twos to the somewhat mid threes, okay? So uh, when you consider that a DCS 36 inch, 36 inch head, not the cart, just the head, okay, is gonna cost you almost $4,000, right? You can get this thing on a cart in 36 inches for less than that. And you have some serious, serious features on this thing to write home about. So, um, also, by the way, almost forgot, one year warranty, in-home warranty, which means that they don't send you parts in the mail, a tech will go to your house and service this grill for the first year, and then lifetime warranties and other components. That is huge, that is absolutely huge, and that is something that only the highest of high-end grill manufacturers would offer, incredible warranty. So anyway, that is the breakdown on this grill. As I get more on it, I'll do more videos. Um, I, I just, again, the customer testimonials so far have been double thumbs up and um, it's, it's quite a little beast. So please, if you have any questions, please hit the appliance dude. Oh wait, no, cross that, I'm Senor Smoke. I forgot about that. Um, it's a new name, I'm sorry, I'm getting used to it. Uh, hit me up on email, jonathanacurtos.com. Call, come in. Um, yes, we do ship Alfresco and Artisan nationwide. We are a major player with this brand, so we can fit your needs, whether you're in the south, you're out west, you're in the metropolitan area of New York. We're here to serve and do the right thing by you. Thank you, folks, for your time. Enjoy the rest of the summer.